COVID could also make diabetes worse itself or make it happen when pe even in people who didn't have it before. We have a risk of seeing a clash of two pandemics. Uh, given the prevalence of COVID now in a year is actually getting very prevalent. And given the prevalence of diabetes, uh, forget about if you cause new ones, which will make it even worse. Doctors are looking into whether COVID-19 isn't just deadlier for people with diabetes. It's also triggering the metabolic disease in many who didn't previously have it. A study from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs showed that COVID survivors were 39% more likely to have a new diabetes diagnosis six months after getting the disease. The virus had not just one way of potentially interfering with uh, sugar metabolism, but multiple ways of doing so. And if, a, if the virus were able to uh, just advance that progression from prediabetes into diabetes, and, and if, you know, given the prevalence of prediabetes, you can imagine how many new cases it could potentially cause. Now, we'll have to see uh, perhaps in the next year or two how much the effect of the pandemic uh, will result in an increase in prevalence of diabetes. This worsening situation could carry a heavy public health toll. Diabetes can go undetected for, for, for a long time and create and cause damage until you figure that out. So it's better to know or the sooner the better. Doctors suspect the SARS-CoV-2 virus may damage the pancreas, the gland that makes insulin, which is needed to convert blood sugar into energy. Dr. Rubino has set up a diabetes registry where 500 doctors around the world can share data. We are asking uh, colleagues uh, to give data about the presentation of diabetes, the way the characteristics of diabetes, the laboratory uh, uh, characteristics, but clinical characteristics. So we can say it's a type one, it's a type two or something else. And then we want to also know the outcomes. Uh, and you know, did diabetes improve or did it uh, worsen, uh, did it go away? Uh, but also, what was the most common form of treatment which in clinical practice is being used and see if there was any trend, is any trend to see this drug may be working better than others. Doctors are also worried about children. We're seeing in our database already a, a good number of, of cases that are in the uh, pediatric age. I mean, people will probably understand that this is not just a, a flu, that you, okay, you get it, you get, you're get, you done with it. You might not have done with it. So. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a serious thing, unfortunately.